Hi friends, we'll try to learn how to exchange data between a SQLite database and a Excel file. By running this file, we'll create one Excel file in our D drive and reading from the D drive, we'll again create back our SQLite database also. Now let's run this file and see here in our D drive, this Excel file is created. This file has got all the data of our student table, whatever we have used in our SQLite database. Now, in the next part, we'll use the same data and create the our SQLite database. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. Here is our SQL KME connection and uh, we have imported the error module also. So because we want to display the errors, what if there is anything in our query. So here you can see the path we have declared, my path. So this is the SQLite database path and here is the file and in your case this path will be a different one so you can change this one and here is the connection string or the connection object this connection object will be going to use now so you in your case you may have to change this one this path based on where it is and if you are creating the table to the sample data and all you can use the uh, our sql uh, our that sample code which will create the database will insert the sample records also student table also and the link is at the description now let's start first we'll say import import pandas as pd now here we'll use one try and accept block so here is the try block inside that will create our will leave our query and in case there is an error this part of the code will be executed and that will tell us how to print the and that will print our error message so we'll come to know what's the wrong in it so now let's just inside the try block i am so uh, creating now first we'll say the query will write the query equal to first what we are going to get is select star star means all the columns from student student is my table name where around 35 records are there now using this query we'll get the data frame first let's create the data frame df or the data frame equal to pd that is our pandas read sql read underscore sql so here first we'll, we'll we'll pass the query what you select star from student whatever you have written now now the connection my connection at line number four at the top we have created the connection even if you are using some other uh, driver also sqlite 3 driver also keep this variable name same so the same code will work you can change if you are not using sqlite you can use uh, sqlite sorry if you are not using sql alchemy then you can use sqlite 3 also so my connection that is uh, our uh, connection to the SQLite database. Now we are saying index column. What is the index column is ID because in our table there is one ID column is there. What you are telling is that use that as uh, your index column. Don't create a fresh index. So now the data frame is ready. Now we, for a testing purpose, let's just print our data frame. Print DF head. This will by default will print the instead of printing the entire data frame the five columns from the top by default it is five otherwise if I want to print two column I can also print it now let me save this and run now we are not creating any excel file or anything we are just printing the thing before that wait a minute before that we'll print another thing also we'll run one else part the else part of this try except block will be executed once there is no error so else part will say print now we're saying data frame created so you can write successfully okay you can write anything text so this message means data frame is created up to that up to these three lines there is no error so let us save this and run once so here it is data frame created let me just move it up a bit here it is you can see here three uh, this is the three records uh, one to sorry the second part of it let me move up a bit yeah here you can see two records are displayed and data frame created successfully suppose i will make it i'll remove it by default it will display the my the uh, display the five rows of data so here it is up to five it is displaying and data frame created successfully the else part is getting executed let us just see if you create an error what happens now let me just put a two here because th i hope that table is not there or let me just uh okay this table name is wrong i am not 
got the number so what happens in this case is no so here you read this no such table student 99 okay because this table is not there okay this part is fine now we'll go for excel to create the excel file you have to just add one line code df data frame now to excel now here inside this this to excel will create the path it will transfer the data frame to the excel file and i have to give the path where it should create so d drive and uh, i am just giving the name here student dot x l s x so this is my file so that's all this line i can comment this uh, line also i don't want print only what you will do is data frame created successfully will message will come let me save this and running once so you can see data frame created successfully and you can see the student table now let me delete this here and once more i'll run this here will be the file is created so this student file now from this file we'll go and create the table we'll modify this code so first we'll read the excel file so for that we'll create the data frame by reading the excel file so pd dot read excel read excel now inside this i am giving the path which excel file to read here i am saying student xls x this is the file what you have created right now now once this is there this line is not required this particular line will remove it if you want you can print the data frame that one now what is that is now will not use two excel is not required now we'll create the our will create the table in our sql light so to sql now what you are going to do is connection first connection we are selling my connection my co and my connection is the i can move what this also will move it down a bit so we can see from the top you can see the connection is there my connection to our sql light database so that we are using it here so line number four the connection is already there so name what name we are going to give now we'll say because student table is already exist so we will give it a student 99 i am giving this is the one which is not existing there so then if exist equal to now i'm saying append if it is exist so the records will be appended next time we'll run it so here up to this point is fine but what happened how we will know that sqlite database that data has transferred successfully or not so in the else part what we will do data frame created successfully fine so up to this it will say then what you will try we'll try to read the data and display it so i'll say record set equal to my connection again the connection string my connection execute now here i am saying select star from student table 99 so this particular table whatever is created and data is stored same thing you execute it get all the data from there so that now what we will do we'll try to display that so for row in record set print row so it will one by one all the data whatever is there inside the our table that will be printed so that is confirms that the data is taken from uh, excel table created the table here and it is again it, this this part is only to ensure that the records are actually gone so i am saving this running now let's just see yeah here all the records again you can see here all the records are available and it is stored in the table student 99 and displayed so data is read here then the data frame is created then data frame output uh, is pushed to the uh, by pushed to the sqlite database by creating the table that's all friends we have seen how we have uh, taken the inputs and uh, from the sqlite and created the excel and from excel we have created the table again I hope and if you have any doubt suggestion or question use the comment section below to post it and if you have any idea to how to implement it in your applications and all use the comment section below to post it and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that please subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends thank you for watching